Hello you guys, uh, this is your video for your asynchronous time this week. In class we took notes on foreground, middle ground, background and made this cool little um, example and today we're going to go through some of our uh, magazines that we got in our kit. I gave you some National Geographics and I want you to flip through and find two examples, smaller examples, that would fit here for landscapes. So um, I'm going to just go through and do that. I'll put it on fast forward and I'll come back when I'm done. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is just take your glue stick and glue these in. Um, you do need to have a little bit of space here on the this side for writing. So if your picture is too long, like I could just cut this guy off. Um, I'll just do it. Okay, um, but you do have to find smaller ones. And you're just going to glue them in there. I want two. So finding examples of landscapes with the foreground, the middle ground, and the background, and a horizon line, okay? Because I will have you um, point those out to me. So glue them in, and then take your um, ultra fine point Sharpie, and the first thing I want you to do is um, point out where the horizon line is. So I want you to make a kind of a big arrow. HL horizon line. And right here, HL horizon line for both of them. And then I want you to um, draw along that line with your Sharpie on the picture, right on top of the picture. Okay, you kind of go off a little bit. So it's really obvious where that line is. This one, the pictures, um, it goes off the picture, but that's okay. I can just put it up here. Okay, there is my horizon line. So you're drawing that in, making it very obvi obvious. <coughs> The next thing I would like you to do is whatever is in the foreground, I would like you to outline. So I zoomed in here to show you the foreground is all the things that appear much larger, have a lot of details, are towards the bottom, and have more contrast and value. So I'm just going to outline this guy here kind of loosely. This is the foreground. I'm going to make a big circle around it. And label it. And that's what I'm looking for in your journal. Um, so in both of them. So for the foreground, this definitely, this boat is in the foreground. Here. Okay, so that is what I want you to do. So you're finding two images, gluing them in, drawing an arrow, and labeling horizon line, and then drawing on the line, and then outlining everything that's in the foreground, and labeling it as well on both pictures. Okay, and that's your homework, um, and we will turn this in on Friday. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.